Hello everybody, welcome to Guru 3D. My name is Hilbert and today we're going to install a Ryzen Threadripper processor on this lovely looking ROG Zenith Extreme motherboard from ASUS. This is of course the X399 motherboard, um, pretty much a flagship uh, motherboard as well. Um, the reason for this video um, is quite simple. The, um, the installation of the new Threadripper processor can be a little bit confusing. Typically with say an Intel motherboard you lift the processor socket, drop on your processor, close the lid and everything is installed. That is however a bit of a more risky procedure. Um, AMD um, decided to follow the, the server uh, socket installation and that actually works quite well but like I said it's it's a little bit confusing so that's why the, I wanted to explain that a little bit in this video. You're going to need a couple of things of course. First the motherboard well, that speaks for itself. Secondly, a Ryzen Threadripper processor would be handy as well. So this is the 1920X and let me pick up another one. Here we have the 1950X. This is the 16 core 32 threaded version. Uh, that's the one we're going to install today. Included inside the processor package you'll also find a torque wrench and the torque wrench is needed for the screws over here and it applies the right amount of tension uh, on the screw so you can't really damage anything. A really, really clever solution actually. Right, let's start up the installation. It is quite simple, don't be afraid, it's, it's all quite safe as well. Let me move the box a little bit here. You can see the socket uh, and you, see, you can see the number of screws. Uh, you need to focus on the upper three screws. That's this one, this one, this one. Don't confuse yourself with the stuff that's located a little bit lower, just the three screws that you see over here. Now you're going to take the torque wrench. Now, the screws that I'm turning upwards right now are already loose, but it just serves as a little bit of a demonstration purpose. Let's go to the third screw, and once it's free, you notice that the socket will unlock and open itself. It's spring based, so that should be uh, the case. So, typically, what you are or what you would do with an Intel processor uh, with drop-in support is grab the, the processor lid right here and pull it upwards. That is not the case and that's the different thing with this installation. So you can see the two blue latches here. Just pull them out a little bit and then upwards. And then this retention mechanism will free itself. This is also spring-based so it will come upwards all by itself. In here you can see the plastic lid. Um, and you can see this hatch here, just pull it towards you and it's out. The same way that we pull it out, we're going to insert the processor. So this is the 1950X. And let me carefully try to insert it right now. So here we are inserting it, push it down a little bit and it can't go anything deeper or further. It's just what it is. There you go. So that's the processor and now we're going to remove um, uh, the last lid or the cover for the pins, the over 4,000 pins I might add. Just pull it upwards a little bit so it should come free. There you go. And there you have it. More than 4,000 pins. Pretty much what we're going to do right now is push down the processor, push down the lid, and now we're going to take that torque wrench. We apply a little bit of pressure until we feel the, feel the screw getting the tension and we're just going to turn it downwards and did you hear that click? That's the amount of pressure you can use and should apply. So then we have the other two screws that need to be secured as well. That was the click. We can't apply any more pressure. And then the last one. That's a torque wrench for you, very handy. It's included with the processor package, really easy. So as you can see right now, the processor is installed with the, uh, we've tightened the three torque screws. And yeah, it's, it's now ready for installation of the, the CPU cooler. Um, if you're going to use the Asus uh, LCS kit, you're going to get a bracket included. So the cooler sits on there and you can turn everything nice and tightly. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So that's the processor installer. Um, if you're going to do it, good luck with it. It's a beautiful yet big processor. 
um, and you can read the rest of the test and benchmarks in our review, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.